Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a quick personal update before I get to my other videos. Um, so right now I'm recovering well from my broken leg and ankle and um, I'm walking as of today, I'm pretty much not thinking about any pain or being careful with the motion of my ankle. So I'm walking pretty good today. Um, usually by the end of the day, I do get really swollen and tired and it gets to the point where I can barely walk, but I'm doing good. I'm improving every single day and I start physical therapy next week. It's pretty late. I may not need it, but I'm going to go just in case I'm missing something. Um, my toes on my right foot where that leg was operated on, I still can't bend my toes. So they are totally straight. There's something going on with the tendons there, though the surgeon confirmed that he did not nip a tendon, so he's not sure why my toes aren't working. And so hopefully physical therapy will help me with that. If not, I do have a massage therapist that can help me. So that's my only issue. Um, I still am quite clumsy, so I have to really think about every step that I take because we do live in the country. There's gravel, rocks, branches, twigs, all sorts of things everywhere. So when I go outside, I just have to be really careful. And to top it off, my dog hurt her toes. So she's a rescue dog and um, we know she has metal shards in her foot and leg that we x-rayed and she's got a toe one toe, her pinky toe, it has a weird nail that grows out and curves upwards and now it's it's like split. So it's like two nails coming out of that toe. And then the one next to it was a toe that was broken that never healed right. And it's just like kind of flat. And every once in a while she gets like an infection. We're not really sure something happens. She gets bumps and it breaks open and bleeds and swells. and. So she's being treated too for, for her foot. We're quite the pair, um, but yeah. Um, I also am going through my round, second round with SIBO, which is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, where bacteria that's supposed to only be in the colon has gone up into the small bowel. And um, this happens to me for multiple reasons. The first time it happened was because of surgical resections, because I lost the valve between the bowel and the colon and they're now connected directly together. And so that was the first time that happened because we tested for um, sucrose and made sure I wasn't allergic to lactose and that was all fine then. Um, but now this time I did a hydrogen breath test and we've done other tests. I am lactose intolerant, I am sucrose intolerant, and I have SIBO, which is probably feeding off of um, all of the sucrose and carbs in there because I live off of carbs. So now my diet has to change again and this is really frustrating for me because before surgery, I was mostly vegetarian. I love veggie sandwiches. I love just snacking on veggies and I can't do that anymore since surgery unless um, I wanna risk really being in the bathroom all day in a lot of pain or a possible partial bowel obstruction or full bowel obstruction. So I've had to just be really careful with my diet and now with this, it's just like everything's cut out because I am not really a big meat eater. I'm very picky about texture. I love animals too, so if I think about that, it freaks me out, but it's a lot of it is texture. I don't know where I got it from, but as a kid, I just can't stand hamburger, I can't stand most meat. I don't like anything chewy. I like my meat shredded with no fat, so my favorite thing is a butterball turkey, which have not been easy to find since COVID hit, so when I find them, I buy as many as they allow me to. Um, but yeah, I love butterball turkeys, uh, rotisserie chickens, but I only like one section of the meat on those. So I feel wasteful. I got to find a way to incorporate it into my husband's meals, but I'm just like the pickiest meat eater. And now I have to cut out, like, it's like no carbs, no sugar, <laughs> no, no fiber. I don't know how I'm supposed to eat. So if you happen to know of a resource that helps build really specialized diets, let me know. I have reached out to, um, there is a oncologist, dietitian, nutritionist that I worked with before my surgery when I was going through chemo. But as my GI doctor said with my current, like my, my really complicated system and all the surgeries, um, it's gonna be really hard to find somebody who will be able to 
help me specifically. So it's going to be a lot of trial and error, but I'm starving guys. And I'm really tired because I miss sugar. So anyway, um, that's my update. I think I covered it. Walking good, dealing with SIBO. Oh, how did I treat SIBO? Um, we did a round, it's five days of antibiotics. And because I'm allergic to penicillins, we um, did a Z pack, which is azithromycin. And I um, am just so bloated. I gained weight really fast. I lost some pounds really fast, but I'm, I'm just really bloated and uncomfortable. And I have a hernia on my stomach. And because I'm so bloated, I'm just like really concerned. Um, so yeah, I'll be talking to the GI's MA today and um, I'm dealing with that. Um, this round of antibiotics didn't really seem to do anything. So I might have to do another round and researching SIBO. It sounds like it can sometimes be really difficult to get rid of. Um, just yay, another thing to deal with. Um, I'm doing okay though. So that's it for my personal update and I'll get to another video soon. Bye.